Now let us understand the second law of reflection. It states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal drawn at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. As we all already know about the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal, then what does this plane mean? Is it an aeroplane? No, definitely not. Then let us understand the plane. As you can see, I have attached a yellow sheet on top of the white one. The yellow sheet has its own x and y axis, so as the white one x and one y axis forms a plane. Therefore, our first plane is the white paper and the second plane is the yellow sheet. If we add another z axis, then it gives depth to the plane. Therefore, now we got three planes where xy is the first plane, yz is the second plane, and zx is the last plane. Since the incident ray is in xy plane, therefore the normal and reflected ray are. As the incident ray changes and enters the yz plane, the normal and the reflected ray changes the plane. Therefore, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal 